The air in Kansas City crackled with anticipation, not just for the upcoming Chiefs game, but for Taylor Swift's halftime performance. Rumors had been circulating for weeks, and Taylor will finally take the stage tonight at Arrowhead. But before the music started, she had something to say. Taylor, dressed in a bedazzled jersey, half Chiefs red, half embellished with her distinctive glittery butterflies, gripped the microphone with a hint of a smile on her lips. The crowd let up a yell. Kansas City, she said, her voice sending a warm current through the stadium, you guys are the best. And talking about wonderful the roar became more intense. There's someone very special here tonight. A spotlight shone on a private box, displaying Travis Kulse, grinning like a goofy. The crowd erupted. Taylor winked at him and proceeded. Travis and I, we've been getting to know each other, and it's she paused, seeking for the proper term. We both feel we're fortunate to have discovered something so great. The crowd held its breath. Were they getting engaged? After a few months of dating, things seemed to move quickly. And, Taylor said, her smile widened, we've settled on two things. One is to constantly support one another's dreams, no matter how insane they may appear. She shot Travis a cheeky glance, and he raised his fist in faux severity. The crowd chuckled, and the tension eased, and two, she added her voice softening, to write our own love story. One that is noisy, sparkly, and occasionally performs a beautiful spiral pass. The stadium exploded again, this time with applause and laughs. It wasn't your typical announcement, but it was wonderfully them. As the music began Taylor went into her first song, her eyes shining brighter than the rhinestones on her costume. Travis beamed in the stands, knowing that this was only the beginning of their wild and glorious symphony. The air in Kansas City crackled with anticipation, not just for the upcoming Chiefs game, but also for Taylor Swift's after-concert interview. After a show full of glitter, sing-alongs, and enough girl power anthems to spark a revolution Taylor was ready to talk. Matt, the interviewer, known for his acigoing personality, jumped right in. Taylor, the crowd is ecstatic tonight, but there's something else going on, rumors about you and Travis. Could you share anything? Taylor's smile, which is normally reserved for the last note, appeared early. Travis is incredible, she continued, and the audience erupted in cheers. We're both passionate about what we do, and that's something we really admire in each other. A silence descended as she continued, we've been talking a lot about the future recently. You know, the goals conversation. Murmurs spread throughout the audience. Was that it? Is this the confirmation everyone wanted? And we've decided on two things, Taylor said with a cheeky sparkle in her eye. First and foremost, Travis's objective this season is to win his third Super Bowl with the Chiefs. Arrow had best prepare to roar. The stadium erupted once more, sending a wave of red across the stands. Matt chuckled, genuinely shocked at the change. And the second goal? Taylor leaned into the microphone, a mischievous smirk on her lips. That some things are best kept between a girl, her boyfriend, and maybe a song or two on the next album. The audience erupted with laughter and knowing cheers. The conversation concluded, leaving fans buzzing with a lovely blend of football spirit and relationship speculation. Taylor had deftly dodged confirmation while weaving a charming story. Perhaps a future duet with Travis was in the works, a song developed from their common interests, and a love that thrived on keeping some things gloriously hidden. The air in Kansas City crackled with anticipation, not just for the upcoming Chiefs game, but for Taylor Swift's halftime show. After weeks of speculation, Taylor made a surprise announcement to her followers tonight. Taylor launched into a medley of her favorites, while wearing a bedazzled jersey that was half Chiefs red and half Starry Night, reflecting her own album cover. The audience screamed, their energy pouring into Taylor's. But when the final note of Shake It Off faded, a silence descended over the crowd. Kansas City Taylor said, her voice a warm current through the speakers, you guys are the best. And tonight is extremely significant for me. A collective gasp echoed across the stands. Travis, watching from the sidelines, smiled, his heart pounding against his ribs. You all know how much of my music is inspired by my life, Taylor said with a cheeky twinkle in her eye. And lately, well, things have been pretty amazing. The audience cheered as their predictions appeared to be correct. Travis and I, Taylor explained, holding his hand as he joined her on stage, have been talking a lot about the future, and we have settled. The stadium held its breath once more. Travis grabbed her palm, his eagerness building up. First, Taylor announced, a grin spreading across her face, we're going on tour together. 
The crowd went wild. The prospect of a Travis Kelce appearance at a Taylor Swift concert sent the stadium into a frenzy. Travis, ever the showman, flexed his bicep prompting a playful smack from Taylor. But that's not all Taylor added, waiting for the cheers to subside. We've also agreed she stopped, letting the anticipation grow that when the time comes, we'd like to build something special together. A family. A roar arose, seemingly shaking the stadium's foundations. Travis wrapped Taylor in a tight hug, his voice husky with passion as he muttered, thank you, beautiful. Taylor, tears in her eyes, gazed out at the cheering crowd. Their relationship, a whirlwind romance between a pop icon and a football player, may have appeared unusual. But tonight, amid the brilliant lights and the clamor of the crowd, they shared their future, which was built on music touchdowns and the promise of eternity. Taylor Swift stood at the platform, cameras flashing around her like fireflies in the dark. It was a news conference like no other held in the center of Nashville, where the melody of country songs blended with the rhythm of modern pop. This meeting was not simply for another record release or tour announcement, it was for something far more intimate, something that fans had been speculating about for several months. Taylor, flanked by her boyfriend, Travis Kelce, the Kansas City Chiefs star tied end, addressed the excited throng with quiet confidence. Her voice, which had previously soared in stadiums packed with shouting spectators, was now quiet and warm. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming today. Taylor began, scanning the room before focusing on Travis, who stood alongside her with a smile as sincere as her own. As many of you know, Travis and I have been together for quite some time. And, while our relationship is frequently in the public eye, there are some things we've kept private until now. The audience fell hushed, with expectation hanging in the air like a beautiful tune about to be played. Travis and I have decided to share two important aspects of our relationship goals with all of you, Taylor said, interlacing her fingers with Travis's. First and foremost, we have committed to constantly prioritizing communication and understanding. Taylor, dressed in a bedazzled jersey, half chief's red, half embellished with her distinctive glittery butterflies, gripped the microphone with a hint of a smile on her lips. The crowd let up a yell. Kansas City, she said, her voice sending a warm current through the stadium, you guys are the best. And talking about wonderful the roar became more intense. There's someone very special here tonight. A spotlight shone on a private box, displaying Travis Kelce, grinning like a goofy. The crowd erupted. Taylor winked at him and proceeded. Travis and I, we've been getting to know each other, and it's she paused, seeking for the proper term. We both feel we're fortunate to have discovered something so great. The crowd held its breath. Were they getting engaged? After a few months of dating, things seemed to move quickly. And, Taylor said, her smile widened, we've settled on two things. One is to constantly support one another's dreams, no matter how insane they may appear. She shot Travis a cheeky glance, and he raised his fist in faux severity. The crowd chuckled, and the tension eased, and two, she added her voice softening, to write our own love story. One that is noisy, sparkly, and occasionally performs a beautiful spiral pass. The stadium exploded again, this time with applause and laughs. It was not a traditional announcement, but it was ideal for them. As the music began, Taylor went into her first song, her eyes gleaming brighter than the rhinestones on her dress. Travis beamed in the stands, knowing this was only the beginning of their wild and...